In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an interactive PDF template using Adobe InDesign. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to talk about the limitations of an interactive PDF. Some of the challenges include reader compatibility. This is a concern when you are using a reader that may be something other than Acrobat uh, by Adobe. For instance, say you were using Max Preview. Max Preview really struggles and will not read much of the interactive PDF features. So if you were to embed multimedia um, such as video or audio into an interactive uh, PDF and try and open that in something other than Acrobat, you may have some significant problems with this. The other compatibility thing to keep in mind is that um, Interactive PDFs rely heavily on flash video, which is basically being phased out. Um, so students that may choose to use an interactive PDF that's been distributed by an instructor will likely have to install the flash software on their computer um, to be able to read any interactive media with this. Let's go ahead and dig in here and get started. So you'll notice that I have InDesign open and we're going to make sure that we are under the Home tab and select Create New. This will bring up the New Document dialog box and for this demonstration we'll go ahead and create a print version of an interactive PDF. I'll select Letter Size for this and I will go ahead and title this Interactive PDF template. And we're going to set this up as a template. To keep it simple for most of us, we'll go ahead and select a unit of inches. I'll turn facing pages off and since this is a basic template, we'll add three pages to this. And we'll select create. Now you can see that I have this artboard and there should be three of them. We we'll use the term artboard uh, kind of like pages in Adobe products. You're going to navigate up to the right hand corner and make sure that we are viewing interactive PDF. If you don't see that you can also go to the window menu, workspace, interactive for PDF. That's what you want to have selected. Next thing we're going to do is try and create some buttons. So on the left hand side I'm going to click on the polygon tool and I'm going to set this so that it has three sides. Once I've set that, I'm going to click again and I'm going to go ahead and set the width and height on this polygon so that I have a basic triangle shape. Then I'll move up and I will change the fill on this so that it's black. Now you can see, I'm going to go ahead and select this and then I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees so that I have a, just a basic button shape here. And what we're going to do here is create the uh, forward and backward navigation buttons for this interactive PDF here. So you can see that we've got the shape. Next I'm going to go ahead and navigate over into the menu bar on the right hand side that says Buttons and Forms. Under Buttons and Forms I'll select Button for the type. I'm going to go ahead and name this. And Since this is meant to advance the page we'll call this Next. We'll leave this set up for On Release tab and then what we'll do after this is go to Actions and with the Plus tab we will select Go to next page. This will tell this button exactly what function to do. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to paste the next button on my other pages as necessary. You'll see that I'm looking for the center guideline so that I can center this button. It'll snap to that. And if you had multiple pages, you'd do this on the third page. Technically, this isn't necessary because our document right now is only three pages. Um, but we could always delete that later, too. Again, this is just a basic template. 
Now that we've got all of the advanced pages set up for our PDF, the next thing we want to do is think about how do we make a previous button for this. So I'm going to use my copy paste feature again and I'm going to rotate the button 180 degrees this time. And since this is a copy, we'll go ahead and drag the copy over to the page that I need it on. And now we'll set the button for this. Instead of calling this next, we're going to call this previous. And we need to remove the previous action for this. So I'm going to deselect the previous action. We're going to add a new action, which is go to previous page. And now we've set this button up so that we have a previous page. Once I have that, I can copy that and I can paste that on the additional parts of my template. And keep in mind, since we're making a template, the reason we're making a template is so we don't have to go through this setup every time. So it's just uh, kind of a get you started. Obviously you could uh, design your arrows any way you want. I'm just trying to keep this simple for this demonstration. So, so now you can see page one, here's page two. And I'm just checking over all of these to make sure they look right. Here's page three. And if I wanted to, I could remove that last next on there. Once we've done that, we want to go ahead and save this file. And I'm going to save this as a template so that I don't have to keep going through and recreating this basic setup in InDesign. So I'll call it Interactive PDF Template. And then we're going to go ahead and test this by exporting this. So I'll go File, Export. Once I select export, it's important that the format is an Adobe PDF interactive. So uh, for most people, the default is going to be print. So, but for us, we want to make sure that it's interactive or we won't really get the features that we are designing here. Be given an export default screen. In most cases, you can just select export for this to export all of the pages. Upon export, you'll notice that this opens up in Acrobat Pro, and I'm just going to test. You can see as I test those buttons, they advance forward and back on the pages. So, and I can zoom in or zoom out a little bit. Now, if you zoom too much, you'll say, hey, those buttons aren't working. Well, that's because all of the pages are in display here. So just a way for you to um, navigate and test this. So in the next tutorial, we'll talk about adding media to an interactive PDF. But I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and that you're willing to experiment with this. For more information about this, please visit us at the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.